hey what's up ict traders welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll be specifically making this video for those of you who are trading synthetic indices now this is a very powerful trade setups that i'll be showing you how to take trades with it it is not just a video i have actually used these trade setups to make so much in the markets i funded my account with just about $80 and it is now $2,700 and I'm currently on a running trade on my Deriv account right here you can see this is MT5 VIX 51S let me show you if I can show you the trade it's running on almost 240 something dollars I'm going to show you how I normally use these setups for trade entry and how you can basically replicate it live on your charts all right so these are the setups i have type a and type b those of you who attended the live session we did with my friend bala francis on saturday on my youtube live you would have seen this particular setup my friend taught you guys but a set is a setup that we use almost every day all right on currencies on synthetics on indices whatever asset you're trading this is a very powerful setup and it can be used on any time frame i use it on the five minute or the 15 minute time frame on synthetics because synthetics is a very very volatile asset and i trade it in the lower time frame so that my stop losses can be very very small and concise all right so this is the setup one it is basically a combination of two mitigation blocks on the opposing side of each other opposing side of the price action now if i want to go bullish for example if i want to go bullish on a particular trade right now i saw this setup probably price have traded into a key level either an order block or price have cleared liquidity below this area and now has shifted structure if i have this mitigation block formation those of you who know what mitigation block is you should know this a mitigation block is when price comes goes back try to push down to break structure below here but then fail to do that and then it shifted structure above that maybe this one have finished clearing the liquidity or have traded into a key level now if i am taking the trade i will wait for price to come back to the mitigation block that is the bullish mitigation block now what makes this particular setup a high probability trade setup is the fact that if i want to take it i want to confirm first do i have that exact formation above that is on my opposing side since i'm going bullish did i see any form of a bearish mitigation block above me that is where price has high chances of going to i hope you understand this anyway so if i am taking this as a bullish trade uh, i go to this guy say bullish all right if i am taking this as a bullish trade i'm going to target inside here and my stop loss is going to be below here so this is a high probability trade setup that you don't want to joke with the presence of this bearish mitigation block makes this setup a powerful setup all right the same thing for the type 2 or the type b you will literally see it as the exact opposite of this this one is a breaker block those of you who know what breaker block breaker block normally clears liquidity above the previous high that was traded and then maybe trading into a key level before coming down so this is the same thing i am going bullish the presence of a bearish breaker makes this bullish breaker a high probability trade setup all right so i have this price comes back to my breaker block boom price makes it a high probability trade setup let me show you a practical example of what i call these setups i took a trade yesterday on step index all right this is synthetic indices you can use it for currencies or anything so i saw this trade setup when price have traded into a key level a key level can be just a high that has liquidity above it and price trading above that high boom i hope you're seeing it price have traded above this high clearing liquidity and what do you have you have price coming back inside now it is not yet time for me to take the trade just because price have cleared liquidity i need some form of confirmation 
And that confirmation will come in a typical shift in market structure. Now, price came, had a failure swing after pu pushing up. Price could not break above this guy to continue the upward movement, but then crashed, creating a shift in market structure. This is where the miracle happens. This market structure shift makes it a high probability trade setup. So I have a bearish mitigation block here. Is that not the same setup I gave you? A bearish mitigation block here. What is the bearish mitigation block? Basically on this retracement, you look at the last sell candle that price have created and that is your bearish mitigation block. So if you are taking the trade, you are taking it from here. But before taking it, check. Do I have the same setup on the downside of price? Is price going to trade to that area? Absolutely. I have a bullish mitigation block on the downside. All right. On the downside. So if I am taking this trade, this trade gave me almost $660 when I took it. So if I am taking this trade, where is my target going to be? So this is how I took the trade. I went here. Boom. My bearish mitigation block. I was risking $66 for $600 and something dollars. My target was there. This was step index. Step index. I targeted that area. Listen to me. If you try this, you're going to see a lot of setups many setups you don't have to go to the higher time frame one hour two hours four hours no 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 i stay within 15 minutes to five minutes if i see price have traded above a significant price area create that pattern i look at the opposing side look at this exactly price came all the way here and retrace i was still in the trade i'll even close my chart i have closed my phone it was in the evening i checked price even came back to my entry if i was not careful it will have removed me but because that setup is a beautiful setup price had to respect it it went all the way down to this area all right so you're going to see this type of setups time and again and again let me see if i can give you an example on vix this is step index let's go to vix 51s because i trade basically step index vix 60 sorry vix 51s and i trade vix 75 all right so i'm on this trade presently i'm on this trade i think i took the trade from one minute time frame from one minute time frame all right from one minute time frame and my entry was let me see let's check it guys we're checking it it's almost 290 something dollars in profit you see that was from 2700 and something it's now almost 3000 so i'm watching it i'm not going to remove it my target was uh let me show you my target so you can see the same pattern i am using is what i am using there so my target is here all right you can see it here up above so that is where my target is so if i have this trade go in my direction the reason why I took the trade, let's go to where I'm making the analysis. I don't enjoy using my MT5 for analysis. All right. I don't enjoy using MT5 for analysis. So I saw this thing right above here on my downside. Sorry, down here, I saw price creating a bullish. This is a bullish mitigation block right above here or even this one. If you're going to see this, even though this one did not create the shifting structure, this was the one that created the shifting structure. But I actually entered from here. I entered from here. When I waited for price to come down here, because I wanted to take it from discount, it didn't come. It broke above and then I took it from here. You will see it if you check where my entry was here. This is it. All right. I waited for price to come. It tapped me in and it went up. So the reason why I took was because I saw an exacting on the opposite side of price, a mitigation block. Well, did I see it? All right. I was even targeting this place, this area as my target. So by now I would have closed this particular entry when price finally reaches this guy on the opposing side. But I checked the higher time frame and I saw that price have high potential of going up. This is why I'm leaving it to go or continue the price movement into this area. 
into this area. That is where I put my TP. But the entry was initially on the one minute time frame and I wanted to check this area. So that was the entry I am doing. But not only that one. Let me show you this entry also that I took last two days. Was it last two days or yesterday? I think yesterday I took it, even though this one I did not uh, enter with such a big risk. Uh, this was on the 27th, last two days. Yes, last two days because today is 29th. So I saw this on the downside of price. A breaker block all right price clearing liquidity below and shifting structure it's a very very nice setup if you see it I saw it on the opposing side of price I said okay price give me an opportunity to take the sell no formation of this down here right up here was when I saw the formation price clearing all the liquidity above here right here let me show you liquidity all the liquidity above here was cleared and I was waiting for the same setup as opposed to what I'm seeing down here. Did you see any breaker? No. Down here, up here rather, is where I saw, boom, price shifting structure here. All right. After the shifting structure, price came back to this bearish breaker. I took the trade there. This was on the 27th. It was a nice trade setup. And when I'm tracking it, I keep it as simple as that. I don't doubt the entry. I don't doubt the entry. So you can take the entry from, this is a short trade, from here, to get from there. I didn't risk much in this, all right? I just entered with something little, the entry. And my target was here, guys. What a powerful target was that. Was right at that point. It came right inside and it turned back. To the upside so every time you are taking a trade look at the opposing side see what price is giving you uh, let me see if i can see another example even though the ones i've taken is the one i showed you uh, on a live trade and i took it because i did it live all right so you can check it time and again and see just practice all right so I don't want to bore you with so much uh, talk. You can check your charts. Let's check the last one, uh, VIX 75. These are the assets I trade. I told you VIX 75. Let's see if we can see this type of setups on VIX 75. Um, do we have a breaker? I want to see. This is the five minute time frame. It's basically very simple setups that you're going to see. Okay, this is price getting a setup, price creating, you know, clearing liquidity, shifting structure, leaving you with this area for entry. Do we have an opposing on the edge? Yes, you have a breaker here too. You have a breaker here. So price targeted that area. It went all the way up to that area. All right. So it's quite easy to spot it. Once you spot it, just take it. It's as simple as that. So my trade is still running on $290. I, I think the target is about $600. So I hope it will reach that target and then I'll share with you. I'll show you what I did right. And I actually showed you everything anyway. I am at break even now. I'm at break even. I'm going to allow it to reach my target. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, share, and let me know if you have any question in the comments.